In this video, we're going to put some curved text on this object as we see here. So let's move this one out of the way. And this is our blank bottle that we're going to be putting the text on. So I'm going to click and drag some text down here. And I'm going to use sans and we'll just start typing our text. I'm going to just duplicate this text by pressing Control and D. And then I'll just move this text down using the arrows on my keyboard. And to get a better look, let's click on the top here to get a top down view. And I'm going to change the text on that bottom. I'm going to select them both and I will group them. And it looks, actually, I'm going to ungroup them here. I am going to lower the genie a little bit more. They were a little bit too close together. Now I will select them both and I will group them. Now we're going to want to size the text so that it's going to fit onto the side there. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and click and drag one of these corners to just size it. And then I know from playing around, I want this to be 20. And because I started by holding down the shift key, it's going to keep everything in proportion. Now I'm going to readjust this now so that I can flip the text 90 degrees. Then I'm going to press D to get it back onto the work plane. Then I'm just going to use my cursor keys, the, the arrow keys on my cursor. I'll set this so I can start moving a little bit more. I'm going to set it closer to the lamp. Then I'm going to resize this text and push it all the way through. And then we're going to look at the front. Let's zoom in. And then I'm going to just click this up until it gets where it is. I'm going to set my snap grid a little bit less so I can have more control. Then I'll use my arrow key to kind of position this where I want it. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to change this text to a hole. I'm going to zoom out again here. I'm going to take my bottle or the vase. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to do Control D and that just duplicated it. And I'm going to hide the duplicate. So I'll click on this right here to hide it. Now at this point, I'm not going to want to move that vase at all. So I'm going to keep the vase in position. So I'm going to click and drag a box down. And what I want to do is I want to completely cover the vase, but I want to leave a little bit at the edges here with that text coming through. But I want to make sure that my vase is completely covered. So I'll raise it up until the vase is completely covered. And so all we see here is our new red box and our whole text. Now we're going to want to select just the box. So I'm going to click on the box and just the text. So I'm going to hold down my shift key while I click on the text. And so you'll notice up here it's just showing me that two shapes are selected. That tells me that I have not accidentally selected the vase that's inside also. And so I'm going to go ahead and group them. Then I'm going to select just the box and I'm going to change it into a hole. 
And so now you can see our vase that was inside is there. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to group them. So now what we've got is just our text. I only want the one on the front. I don't want the one in the back. That's the mirror image. So I'm going to drag a whole box out. And I'm just going to click and drag it over that back text. And then we'll select them both and then we'll group it. So now all I have is the text that I want. So now I'm going to click this one to show all so I can show the base that I had hidden and it's perfectly positioned. But the one thing I'm going to want to do, since the text is perfectly laid on it, I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to click on the vase. I'm not going to move it left to right. I'm just going to use my up and down arrow keys. And let's zoom in. And so I'll use my up arrow keys just to move that out a little bit. And you can see as I do that, I begin to see the text and I want to make sure that it's all it's only going to come out as much as I want and that looks about right just like that and so what I'll do is I'll select them both and I'll group them and so now we have our text, which is embossed from our piece here. Now, if we wanted to do the opposite, so let's ungroup it. And I'm going to select just my text. I'm going to make it into a hole. And then I'm going to use my down arrow key to move it a little bit further forward. And now we'll select them both, group them. And so now, instead of sticking out, you've got the holes cut out. And so that's how you can do it both ways. And that's how you add the text.